Guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a really cool brand and a brand that offers very good quality for the money. I have a lot of experience with them. This is Countycom Maritac. Maritac is their line of watches. Countycom.com is their website. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Straps, uh, you know, kind of like supplies you can use in the outdoors, compasses. And I actually have a compass to show you today, which is something I've never experienced before and it's actually really cool. Um, anyway, this is one of their watches. They produce a lot of watches. This is actually the last and final batch of the DC-50. And this is their DLC model, Diamond Light Carbon. That means it's coated. As you can see, it is black. So it's a full blacked out case and bracelet. And Diamond Light Carbon is a bit better than IP plating. It's a bit stronger. It's not going to come off. And uh, it's always better. And I think for the price point at 550 it did deserve the DLC coating. Um, but yeah, here it is. Um, it's a pretty standard, you know, dive watch. Um, it's a very, I'd say heavy duty, not heavy duty, but strong dive watch. I mean, this thing feels like it can just take a slam and it's going to survive. It's very tough, strong, durable, and that's what you really want in an everyday dive watch. You want it to be strong. You want it to hold up over the years. You don't want it to break. And if you spend $550, you want it to last some years. I think this thing is going to last a pretty long time. So these are $550 on the website. I will drop a link to them down in the description below. And obviously it's a dual crown watch. Let me show you the box and we'll dig a little deeper. Now they do come in these cool Pelly style waterproof uh, boxes. I'm pretty sure this is waterproof. They did add the clear top. I haven't seen these before. And you do get your Maritac care and maintenance card inside. Very self-explanatory. Most of you guys know how to function automatic watch. Gives you some more information on the card. Uh, pretty heavy duty carrying case, I must say. Opens up as you see. And then you get your card there and the watch is over here. All wrapped up. and. Ooh, it's a heavy duty box. Yeah, but a pretty cool box. Now, quick wristwatch check. I am wearing the Casio Duro with the green bezel, one of the newer releases on a custom Jubilee bracelet. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool watch. Um, I think these are like $55 on Amazon. Um, I bought this one a couple of weeks ago and I've been kind of using it as a beater. Um, it's a pretty cool looking watch. I wish it was a little smaller, even though they did release a smaller one, but it's way too small. Um, but I'll have to do with this one for now. Now, getting some basic stuff out of the way. This watch, this watch is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel, which is the industry standard. Um, has some nice weight to it as well. Not overly heavy, but you know, has a nice presence on the wrist. You're gonna feel it on the wrist, um, on the bracelet especially. This watch is 42 millimeters in terms of case diameter across. In terms of case thickness, you're looking at 15.8 millimeters. I must say though, it really doesn't wear that thick, doesn't feel that thick on the wrist, uh, but it is 15.8 millimeters thick. We get 500 meters of water resistance with a helium escape valve. So this is definitely a heavy duty dive watch. You know, if you're going diving, definitely you can trust this one. And uh, Maritac does stand behind their products. Their products are very good quality. They assemble them in the United States here. And, uh, you know, I trust it. I think it'll uh, definitely hold up if you're doing saturation diving or shallow diving. Something like this is probably good to take with you. Even though modern days most people use diving equipment or wear these watches, you know, not for diving. Um, but yeah, otherwise, if you want to go diving with it, I think this one can definitely do it. Um, but yeah, so we get 50 millimeters top to bottom or lug to lug. And then we get 22 millimeters in between those lugs there. And everything is DLC coated, including the crowns, which are actually signed. And you will get a glimpse of that helium escape valve. We get these signed crowns with the Maritac logo there, as you can see. Drilled lug holes, which I thought was very nice. And you get your helium escape valve right there in between the two crowns. As you can see, this is a domed sapphire crystal. Actually a very thick domed sapphire crystal, 3.5 millimeters thick. And it does have anti-reflective coating, so no need to worry about that. As you can see there, there is coating on there, which is clear coating, not blue coating, um, which is always better for me. That blue kind of gets wiped off and it looks weird. Um, but yeah. The dial is very, in my eyes, kind of a little vintage-y. Um, I'm not, maybe I'm the only one who sees that, but you get those long style orange hands you can see there. You get orange zero through 15 over here. You get a matte black dial, orange accent HE for him escape. You get a kind of a ghost hidden date down here. Not ghost date, but a hidden date. Um, it kind of stays out of the way. It keeps things symmetrical. I really like that. I like how the orange matches that. You get the Maritac logo at the 12 o'clock position. I do like how they matched the orange sweeping seconds hand as well to the hands and the zero through 15 on the inner rotating bezel. And the date is blacked out. So you can see it matches the matte black dial. Very nice. Um, so I definitely thought that out, obviously. Now, some other stuff about this watch. 
You guys probably want to know, you know, what's inside of it, what's it running for the price point. And it is the Miyota 9015. Most of you guys are familiar with this movement. It's seen in watches from, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars around that price point, uh, depending on the watch. Um, yeah, it's the Miyota 9015 produced in Japan by Miyota. It has 24 joules, about a 42 hour power reserve. We get hacking, hand winding, a quick set date. They beat at four hertz, 28,800 beats per hour. Um, a little higher up than something like an NH35 by Seiko, which beats at 3 hertz, and I would say is not as accurate and not as reliable as the 9015s. The 9015s are a bit better looking as well. Um, and there really is no rotor noise in here. They did something, you don't get any of that rotor wobble or anything like that. Um, I don't know, you just don't feel it in this watch, which is very nice. Anyway, there's two crowns on here. One of them is to time your dives. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the crown here. And say screw down crown. And it feels very nice. So you basically just set this, if you want to set it to the hour hand time, up to 60 minutes. Screw it back down, very smooth operation, and you're good to go. Obviously you want to do this before you go in the water. You don't want to do this while you're in the water. You're going to get water in your watch and you're going to ruin it. So make sure you set this crown before you get into the water. And the crown over here is to obviously to operate the movement. Go ahead and unscrew this crown here, even though it is already running. It's self-winding, easy, very nice grippy crown, no issues there. We get one position for a quick set date. Let me get your hacking position where you can set the time there. Screw that back down with ease. Very smooth, no issues there whatsoever. Now the bracelet itself is kind of a oyster style, I'd say, um, but it's pretty fluid, it's very nice. As you can see here, it does come under. So no, you know, it doesn't come over here with a, a solid link over here where it stays like that. It comes nicely under the case. So it wears a bit smaller on the wrist. <clears throat> or it plants a bit better on the wrist, in my honest opinion there. So all DLC, you get a DLC buckle as well with the Maritax signed here. You do get one, two, three, four micro adjustments. Two buttons here opens up to a milled clasp. Case back, we get the Maritax logo. Screw down case back. The state sapphire water resistant, solid end links as well. And actually the spring bars are black as well. Um, I've never seen a brand do that before. So kudos to Maritac for doing that. I've never seen that before. They actually made their spring bars black. I think that's pretty cool. Considering that we have the DLC coat on here, they did it actually on the spring bars. You have no issue changing the band on this. You get drilled lug holes, pop your tool in there, strap comes right out. No need to use a tool for that. So I do like that as well. Now this watch is very, very bright. Um, it has a lot of loom, which is C3X1, triple applied on the hands, bezel, and also on now the hour markers. Um, just really, really nicely applied. You're gonna see their loom is some of the best in the game here. And I'm gonna actually shine it up right now and get you guys a look. So I wanna show you the loom. And like I stated, their loom is extremely bright. Just look at those hands, uh, very bright. The actual internal bezel is actually just as bright as the hour markers, which is kind of rare. So a lot of brands I've seen, and I read some other watches with inner rotating bezels. Sometimes the inner rotating bezel is a bit harder to apply loom, but this is just as bright, the bezel, as the actual hour markers and the hands. So definitely very good job on the loom. They always have good loom, so you know, I'm kind of kind of expecting that. Now on my 6.5 inch wrist, the watch actually wears really nice. I was quite surprised by that. Um, but yeah, you know, just like the other model, the stainless model, which I did review, it wears very nice on the wrist. The dimensions, you know, I'd say we're a bit smaller, in my honest opinion there, considering the bracelet kind of curves down there. Everything kind of flows naturally down towards the wrist, uh, which looks very nice. Easy to read at an angle, no issues there whatsoever. So you can see my light is kind of getting in the way. Um, but yeah, very comfortable on the wrist. No need to worry about the bracelet, great option. You can also change it out to one of their mil spec straps, which is actually very nice. Um, if you've never tried one of them, I definitely suggest it. I believe they're like 20 bucks and they're very good quality. Um, but yeah, you can throw this on a rubber band, NATO, anything you want to do on this one. I think it'll work just fine. Now, this is the compass I was talking about. This is a really cool compass. So if you're out in the woods or you like to camp, you like to do stuff like that, go hiking, um, this could definitely be something for you. As a civilian, you probably use it as well. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's on this holster here, as you can see. It's full titanium. And this one is launching May 2nd. I believe they sold out. They had them already. It's 45 millimeters. So it's a 45 millimeter compass. And it comes on one of their mil spec orange bands, which is pretty cool. So it's full titanium. And it comes with the whole wrist carry kit here. As you can see, it straps in to this holder here. And this is what actually plants on your wrist. This portion over here, which is produced by Maritech out of a solid block. Um, very custom. You're not going to find anything like this out there. 
And for $275, I believe that is the price point that they're going to be selling for May 2nd. Check on their website. Um, but yeah, definitely really, really cool. And as you can see, very legible as well. If you get a closer in there, yeah, you can see there is the compass pointing to south. As you can see, then you have the degrees here. And yeah, just a very useful tool if you're out in the wild or you're going camping, even if you're, you know, driving cross country or something like that. It's always good to have a backup. I know cell phones do all that stuff. But if you want something that functions without a battery, like kind of like a mechanical watch, but a compass, this could be something for you. I think it's pretty cool. It comes with their nice Zulu style bands here, which are always great. And it just looks pretty cool. Um, everything is solid titanium, um, which is really, really nice. Very smooth. Nice job on the finishing there. And they did print their Maritak logo right there at the six o'clock position. Really cool. And I want to show you one thing on this. I wasn't expecting it. I was like, you know what? This thing might have loom. So I actually loomed it up and there actually is loom on a compass. I was like, what? That's pretty crazy. I'll show you right now. I'm gonna go ahead and loom this up here so you can see. It's actually pretty cool. There's actually loom on a compass. I never thought they could do that, but I guess they're just like watch dials, compass dials. So as you can see here, there actually is loom on here. If I go ahead and kill this light here, you're gonna see it. There's actually loom on here. Look at this. <laughs> Northeast, Southwest, and then the really, really potent on that arrow hand. Look at that. That looks like BGW9 mixed with C3. Probably the same X1 on the Maritech DC50 I just showed you. So yeah, just pretty, pretty cool. Um, probably not a daily driver, but something you use on a special occasion or when you're doing an activity, uh, which is pretty interesting there. But yeah, nonetheless, great quality. I'm no expert on compasses, but I thought I'd show you this. I think it's pretty cool that they produce this themselves. Now, if you want to see how it looks on your wrist, my wrist is 6.5 inches. You can see there's the compass planted on my wrist. And it's actually really light. Um, obviously, it's light because the material I used. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's very light, feels a very good quality, Maritac printed there. You know, they produce a lot of stuff for the military, Maritac, so I definitely do trust in their products. I don't know if the military is going to be using it. I think I should use it as well, uh, considering, you know, that's the kind of the top of the top there. Um, but yeah, anyway, just thought, thought I'd show you this. I think it's a pretty cool thing they're doing. This is new, 275. Uh, it's on their website. I will drop a link to it also in the description below. Anyway, guys, my conclusions of the DC-50 and DLC. I think it's great. I've always loved this model. I think it's a classic model. It's a classic, you know, inner rotating bezel dive watch, two crown dive watch. Super compressor style, but not a real super compressor, let's just say. Uh, but I've always liked this design. I love watches with dual crowns with inner rotating bezels. You're getting all the goodies with this one for 550. And I'm telling you, these things are very well built. I'm probably not the only YouTuber saying this, but it's very true. Uh, once you get one of these in hands, you're going to realize why they sell out very quick and they're very good watches. Um, the quality is just, you know, for this price, not really seen from other brands. Uh, it's very, very good quality. And I can definitely agree with it. Um, but yeah, no quality control issues. Movement's running great. Everything arrived, you know, fast. Their shipping is very fast. And uh, yeah, uh, no issues there. I like the watch. I think it's a good release. And uh, if you want one, check them out. They're a great company, guys. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the DC50 500 meter diver dual crown from County Com Maritac. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave your comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.